I shrinked this computer. It looks like the original Macintosh from 1984. For oh my god, these guys are always coming up with new things, but this right over here is just awesome. It's designed to be used with the Mac Mini M4 or M4 Pro, but if we want to use with the Raspberry Pi or a Zima board or pretty much any other mini computer, we can do so, which is awesome. It has a 5-inch display where you can show anything from your operating system screen to system stats or a simple clock, a weather app or even a movie or TV show, although we might need to grab our glasses for that. It's called Walkish M5 and it's designed for the Mac Mini M4 and M4 Pro, but we can use with some other devices. There are two models which we will talk in just a few moments and at this moment it's available only on Kickstarter so I will leave a link down below. It has a really cool power button here at the front and these two buttons on the top to control the screen brightness that work regardless of the operating system that we are using. Could be Mac OS, Windows or even a mini server with any other operating system. Here at the front we will find two 10 gigabit ports USB type A, one SD and micro SD card 4.0 reader and a 10 gigabit USB port. Here at the back it has a slot for a NVMe SSD up to 10 gigabit, two 10 gigabit USB type A ports, one HDMI input for connecting any computer other than the Mac Mini M4, one USB type C to connect to the PC that we want to use and one USB type C for power and also a audio output. In terms of the setup it's so simple we just need to take it out of the box, open the box bottom cover, place our Mac Mini and just slide the dock over it. That's it. Then we just need to connect the USB Type-C cable from the Mac to the dock and another USB cable for power. Now we just need to plug in a display so that we can have a bigger screen other than this 5 inch right over here and we can start connecting our peripherals. Now I did install a 2 terabyte Sabrent SSD, I just removed this magnetic cover here at the back, inserted the SSD, close it up and we are done. I did some speed tests and it hit the full 10 gigabit. I also tested an external SSD in the USB Type-C ports, at the front USB Type-A ports and at the rear USB Type-A port. All of them hitting 10 gigabit speed. I even tried fitting a Windows mini computer which fits perfectly in the dock. It's not as sleek as the Mac mini but it works and offers all the same functions. And this is where the HDMI input will come in handy. For example, if we want to connect a Raspberry Pi then we will need to use the HDMI input. If we are using a Windows computer, mini computer, if it has the USB Type-C 3.2 or 3.1 which will be able to have display output over the USB Type-C then we don't need to use the HDMI input but if we have an older computer that doesn't have then we can use the HDMI input and just have the image right over here regardless of the operating system that we are using. Using. If we want to connect other computers like a laptop we can also do so. I did test that out with my MacBook Pro and it works just fine. The only thing is that it loses that cool factor unless I do have my laptop away from it and I put a cable behind and probably I could achieve a cool setup where I do have everything and then my main display and I will have some info right over here but if I put the laptop just near to it in my personal opinion just doesn't look as cool as this which looks like a standalone actually it is a standalone computer if i want it i could use just this screen okay five inches probably too small for my eyes but we could. So I see this docking station for someone that wants not only a docking station, someone that wants a bit more. So we want all the functionalities that we have seen from all the ports, but we want above all style and that retro looking, which is something that they achieved really, really well. So I want to have in my setup, besides all the ports with 10 gigabits and so on and so forth, or with the other model, which is superior to this one, but besides all the functionality, I want to have this really, really looking retro, which is, it's, it's awesome. This is the 10 gigabit M5 
walkish model that is one with 80 gigabits and the main difference is that it will have much higher internal SSD speeds and instead of an HDMI input it has a display port output that does 8k at 60 hertz and that is meant for the Mac mini M4 or any other computer that has Thunderbolt 5 so that it can take advantage of that connection so if we are using a computer without USB type C image pass through we can use the HDMI like on the Raspberry Pi but if we use the M5 80 gigabit model then we will not have the HDMI input only a output and that will be a difficult task actually impossible for any computer that doesn't have Thunderbolt. That being said hope that you enjoyed to take a look at this really cool probably one of the coolest docking stations that I've tested so far I've tested plenty but looking like this this is a first if that was the case don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerta George and as always I'll see you on the next one